Raccoons. Raccoon knocks on door to beg for cat food. Roxy, girlfriend, is the cat food bowl empty again? Because you've been stealing it. What are you doing? It's hilarious. This raccoon, who I've named Roxy, spelled R-O-C-K-S-Y, steals the cat food, and when the bowl's empty, she gets a rock and knocks on my door. And it's scratched all the way across here. I can't get it off. What are you doing? Are you the cutest thing in the world? Usually, it's a nursing mother raccoon who is out trying to get food for her babies. They stay in the den at night, so the predators don't get their babies. But in the day, they go foraging for food and steal cat food, like Roxy. What you doing, girlfriend? Six-year-old boy jumped by wild animal on way to school. A New Jersey boy who was viciously attacked by a crazed raccoon on Wednesday was saved when a quick-thinking neighbor came to his rescue. Six-year-old Ayan Gavali was walking to school with his mother in Elmwood Park, Bergen County, early Wednesday, when they said a large raccoon came running across the street and jumped on his back. The animal then started biting and scratching at Gavali's face as his mother screamed for help. Neighbor Danny Walls heard the commotion as he sat in his car and sprang into action. He grabbed an extension pole and pulled the raccoon off Gavali before beating it to death with the pole. Gavali was taken to Hackensack University Medical Center, where he received nine stitches for the wounds in his face. Gavali's mother later praised neighbor Danny Walls, telling local news crews that he was an angel. The raccoon was taken to a lab to be tested for rabies, with results due on Friday. Raccoon Family shows off its incredible teamwork skills. In the animal kingdom, it's all about teamwork. Video footage uploaded to LiveLeak shows one raccoon family working together to scale a wall. The footage starts out with a mother raccoon trying to push up one of her babies, while another baby is behind her, trying to lend a helping paw. The mother grabs the little guy but loses her grip on the little feller, causing him to drop back down. The baby starts to climb up the wall by itself, and that's when the mother grabs it by the back of the neck and starts to pull the little one up. With the mother holding on to the wall with her two back paws, she slowly backs up and finally helps the baby get over the hump. Mission accomplished. McDonald's Brawl video features Baby Raccoon. This brawl at a McDonald's in Ottawa broke out pretty hard. And what makes it even more interesting is a little raccoon who stole the show. The brawl took place back in December 2014, and the video was posted to YouTube. But a gif of the melee, focusing on the raccoon, is now going viral. It leads one to wonder, what was that raccoon doing there in the first place? The baby raccoon's keeper happened to be walking around the McDonald's before the fight went down. Maybe he was ordering a Happy Meal for the little guy. Before he knew it, fries were flying as punches were being thrown. As these things go sometimes, if you're around during a fight, you may become part of the fight. And if you don't have weapons, what do you do? You use what you got, which in this case was the baby raccoon. Say hello to my little friend. The fight took a while longer to calm down, and we're not sure what became of the baby raccoon. Hopefully, wherever he is, he's staying out of trouble. Teen shoots to internet fame for befriending family of raccoons. It's not easy being a raccoon. Food can be scarce, and when nature's cupboard is bare, what's a hungry bunch of raccoons to do? Luckily for a gaze of five raccoons in Seattle, they have a friend in 18-year-old Kayla Lynn, an aspiring singer and devoted feeder of raccoons. Lynn's bond with them began back in August of 2016, when a lone raccoon came by her home in search of food. The teen opened her fridge to the raccoon with offerings of bread and gave her the name Rosemary. Aww. After a while, Rosemary the raccoon started showing up with a few family members. Apparently, word of free food travels fast in the wild. And before long, Lynn found herself providing dinner for the hungry critters every night at 7.30 on the dot. The relationship was quick to catch fire on Twitter, garnering 22,000 retweets after Lynn's pics were posted on December 28th. While this friendly feeding may seem harmless, others looking to befriend raccoons and other wildlife 
would be wise to keep in mind if raccoons get used to showing up at your door for handouts, it may hamper their foraging skills in the wild. Anyone offering food should probably only do it once in a while. Otherwise, the raccoons may not be so friendly the day you forget to leave their meals out. Woman attacked by a rabid raccoon drowns it in a puddle. A young woman's beautiful day in the woods was hijacked by a rabid raccoon with an insatiable thirst for blood. On June 2nd, 21-year-old Rachel Borch was jogging through the forest when she caught sight of a woodland creature who just didn't look right. The next thing Rachel knew, a maniacal raccoon was bounding toward her like the Tasmanian devil. She held out her hands to protect herself as the raccoon lunged forward and sank its teeth into her thumb. Panicked and in pain, she glanced over to see a puddle nearby. Holding a firm grip on the raccoon, she plunged it into the water and held it under until it stopped moving. Rachel then rushed to the nearest hospital to seek treatment. The raccoon's body was later recovered and did indeed test positive for the rabies virus. Having now received several injections, Rachel, who happens to be a vegetarian, is expected to stave off the violent infection. Left untreated, rabies does carry a 100% rate of fatality. According to the CDC, raccoons, marked in red, account for more than 30% of rabies cases, and most of them reside on the East Coast. Only one to three humans in the U.S. contract rabies each year, but even still, it's probably best to keep your distance, just in case. Raccoon rescued after getting stuck in a sewer grate. Ah, uh, living the American dream. Shopping, shooting, and who can forget? Eating. The U.S. has gotten so gargantuan that even our animals are fat. Last week, the Zion City Police Department received a call about an animal in distress. Apparently, the raccoon, which we'll call Fats, has been living the life. Unfortunately, Fats hasn't hit the gym lately, so has put on some pounds. And that's why, when Fats was trying to get out of the sewer the other day, he got stuck. Officers were first on the scene and were unable to get Fats free, so they had to call in some public works guys to get the job done. Maybe it's all the gluten in Fats' diet. Raccoon freed after getting head stuck in drain. A raccoon found itself in a bit of a tight spot after a too tiny sewer grate got in the way of freedom. Folks at the Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Northampton, Massachusetts, chanced upon the critter on Wednesday and figured he needed a hand. The little guy's head was poking out from a hole in a sewer grate, and he looked absolutely distraught. So an animal control officer was called in to help him get unstuck. She lifted the metal grate out first, and then with some elbow grease and actual grease, finally managed to free him. The furry fellow looked like he was still reeling from shock when the officer wrapped him in a towel, but he was uninjured, just probably a lot oily. But ah, sweet freedom. Raccoon decides to take the subway to work. Subway riders in the Big Apple had a little surprise last week when a pet raccoon hopped along for the daily commute. It looks like a woman was carrying the four-legged strap hanger in a black bag and jumped on an Uptown 6 train. Video was posted by Brooke Hogan and then reposted again on the at Subway Creatures Instagram account, where it quickly went viral. The clip shows the ring-tailed bandit calmly hanging out with the woman and eating out of a plastic container. What's the weirdest thing you've witnessed on the subway? Raccoon exhibit in Taipei Zoo, popular because they're cute. The North American raccoon isn't indigenous to Taiwan, so the only place you're going to find them is at the Taipei Zoo. Yep, you'd pay money to watch these guys scramble around for food. Zookeepers at the zoo have actually trained the raccoons to either wave or beg for their food, which is about the only thing that motivates these masked marauders. So, who wants something to eat? Me, me, I want some. Is this the beginning of the end? Residents of an Ohio town are seriously spooked after raccoons in a neighborhood began exhibiting some very strange behavior. One man was with his dog in broad daylight when he spotted a raccoon approaching. It stood on its hind legs and bared its teeth before collapsing into a comatose state. It got back up moments later, but the man didn't stick around to figure out if it was rabid, undead, or something else entirely. Smart. Police reported receiving 14 other complaints in Youngstown over three weeks and have put down all the animals, which were likely suffering from distemper and not rabies. Distemper is a viral disease that causes coughing and seizures in raccoons and causes them to lose their fear of humans. 
Pets and other animals may be infected, so it's best to steer clear of any weird critters. Though it's at least not transmissible to humans. Let's just hope it stays that way. No one needs the walking dead at their doorstep. The world is stressful enough already.